Everyone knows smoking is bad for you, it's bad for the heart, bad for the lungs, but a lot of people don't realize that smoking actually is very harmful to wound healing, and we find that particularly in plastic surgery. And especially when we're doing extensive surgery, extensive flap dissection, we've found that there are significant complications and worse outcomes in people that are smokers than non-smokers, particularly when we're doing things like facelifts, tummy tucks, breast reductions, breast lifts. The more dissection, the more this effect is gonna be seen. And I always tell patients there's a couple of caveats that are really important. One is smoking is a pulse effect. So every time you light up a cigarette, you're resetting that clock. I always say it's kind of like the game of sorry. You're going back to the very start each, each time you take a cigarette. And all the patients tell me, well, I'm only having one or two a day. Well, you might as well be smoking four packs a day because every time you smoke that cigarette, you're resetting. It has to be complete abstinence. And it has to be all nicotine products, even patches, gum, the vapor cigarettes have nicotine in them, and even secondhand smoke. The second caveat is it has to be at least two weeks and preferably one month. Those effects linger for at least two weeks. And so if you really want to get the full benefit of not smoking, it has to be complete abstinence from all nicotine products, even secondhand smoke, and it needs to be at least two weeks, preferably a month before your surgery.